uh, I'm Anwar from Doric. Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a PayPal payment button uh, in your Doric website. So I know that you guys have been waiting for this feature for so long, but here it is now. So let me add a section from the library. Let me add this section and we'll replace this button with PayPal payment button. How to do that? Add a new element here, payment button, add this move it a little bit aside so from uh, payment service provider drop down we will select PayPal after selecting PayPal you will see some more features uh, coming up here uh, from this currency drop down you can select any currency uh, you want from this uh, six available uh, currencies so we will select uh, USD also what type of payment it will be you can receive one time payment or a recurring or subscription payment I will show you recurring or subscription payment in this uh, later part of this video so for now I'm gonna show you how to add a payment button uh, which accept one time payment so for that you will need only one thing from PayPal which is your client ID and the amount uh, will be inserted here I'll insert the amount here and uh, I'll get the client ID from uh, PayPal developer account. Uh, but before doing that, let me show you how what other options are available in uh, PayPal payment button. So you can select a success message after successfully uh, purchasing what messages your user will see. PayPal has a few options to style the button. So from buttons layout, you can select horizontal or vertical. You can change the button shape, peel. If you select horizontal, then uh, you won't be able to uh, see the card payment button here. So for simplicity purpose, I'm going to select horizontal. So you can select the color of the button. So let's say it is blue. Uh, if the green background color is annoying you, you just can get rid of it by going to background accordion and removing it. That's simple. So also you can uh, control the button width and button height so the maximum and the minimum button uh, height will be uh, minimum 25 and maximum 55 so the but this is this is the limitation from PayPal SDK okay since we have uh, since we have covered all the options available for PayPal button I'm gonna go to PayPal uh, developers account so you have to go to developer.paypal.com and log into your dashboard okay after logging into your dashboard you will go to my apps and credentials uh, I'm gonna use my sandbox account now but for you you will select live from here so I'm not gonna uh, receive any live payment so for test purpose I'm gonna select sandbox uh, you can see I already have two apps created but uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a new app and get the client ID from there okay let's create a new app so it will give the app name uh, let me name it um, Doric test then uh, app type will be merchant if you have multiple business account uh, they will be uh, shown here since I'm using my sandbox account and I have multiple uh, sandbox accounts connected to this developer account I'm gonna use seller at the right anwar.im so I'm gonna create the app okay the app name has been gone why okay my uh, my merchant account has been created and I can see uh, my client ID has been shown here so copy the client ID and put the client ID here that's it that's simple it is okay uh, as you can see here the payment button the PayPal payment button has been gone this is a glitch from Doric so uh, no, don't worry uh, in your live site it will be there so to get it back we just can uh, do a little bit changes in uh, in style so it will appear again so it's 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 not gonna be a problem in your uh, live site so don't worry this is just a glitch in the builder I'm gonna fix it <laughs> okay anyway let's publish this page and take a payment 
publish okay project name will be this paypal button i'm gonna name it this so the page has been published so let's visit this page from incognito so paypal and your visitor will be uh, logging to their account so let me put my username and password here again i'm going to use my uh, sandbox account here to purchase this product so login i'll put my password okay okay as i can see here uh, 20 usd i'm purchasing this product for 20 usd and i'm gonna use my paypal balance after the successful payment, I got the success message which is you have successfully bought a product. Okay, since we have successfully purchased a product, uh, let's log into our seller account and check if the payment has been gone there or not. So for that, uh, let me log into my seller account which I have selected when creating the client ID, okay, which is seller at anwar.im. Let me log in using my password. Okay, logging in okay here in this notifications uh, I'll see I'll see that I have subscribed uh, I have purchased not subscribed I have purchased two products from so if you go into details you will see uh, the buyers details here is the email from which email the buyer has been purchased which is me and these are the other information there but now let me show you how to create a subscription using PayPal payment button okay let's add a subscription this one-time payment it was one-time payment and let's add a recurring payment and here I'll add my uh, plan ID so what will be my plan ID to get my plan ID uh, I'll have to go to my seller account and from there go to app center accept payments okay from accept payments you will scroll down a little bit and you will see subscriptions under get paid category so open this uh, link so if you already have some subscription plans uh, in paypal you will get it under this uh, under this button or you can create a new plan from from overview or from uh, this button here so from there I'll just need this plan ID so if I go in the details mode of this uh, plan I'll see that plan ID is this so I'll copy this and put it into plan ID input field that's it your clan uh, your, your client ID gonna be the same and now we just need to publish after publishing the page we just need to visit the page since the page is open in my incognito tab and refresh the page after refreshing the page I will need to click on PayPal seems like I already logged in so I just need to uh, click on agree and subscribe and my uh, subscription plan price is 9 USD let's continue agree and subscribe seems like I got a bug uh, go to the activity all transactions okay the re recurring payment is here so I think there wasn't a bug that was just the success message from the uh, subscription what uh, I accidentally put an alert uh, uh, on that on that code so I'm gonna fix it to uh, make it like a, a real su uh, success message okay uh, here's the recurring payment you have got here so go to the details and you will see that uh, nine dollar 
and who has subscribed to this this one and also the other related information thanks for showing enormous amount of love to doric thank you so much bye